time things are gonna be a little different. This time, there are stakes. Tag Team Championship. Newly created WSW Australia Championship. That World Series Wrestling Championship. Something the world knows is like that. Speaking of world titles, I don't think you're back. Every day, every day, every day, Sean Spears is a 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, five. Cardona. Series wrestling, I have to say, it is damn good to be back here in Perth. We have a huge night of wrestling, including your main event, where Perth's own The Untouchables and Bullets Clubs, the ABC, take on your World Series Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Porea. Also tonight, for the first time ever, a dream match between the machine, Ryan Page, yeah. and the world-class maniac, Eric Young. Yeah. But the time for talk is over. The ring is ready. The wrestlers are ready. But are you ready? And welcome, we are here live in Perth, Western Australia at the Vasto Club. The date is October 10th. This is World Series Wrestling Full Throttle Night Number 4. Thank you so much for joining us here this evening. My name is Dean Olsen and joining me on the call tonight is a veteran of West Australian Wrestling, Mr. Drake Wallace. Mean Dean, it is fantastic to be here tonight. I am super excited. Every single title in World Series Wrestling is on the line. And when you speak about champions, he might not be the champion right now, but he is a former WSW champion and a member of TMDK, Robbie Eagles, in the ring right now. That's right, Robbie Eagles, a member of TMDK. We'll see a few of their members in action here this evening. He is a former WSW champion. It looks like he's got a few things to say. Presentation to start us off tonight. Is that okay with all of you? So let me quickly just give you a bit of a history lesson for WSW for World Series Wrestling. The champions, previous champions, names like Brian Danielson, Nigel McGuinness, Brian Cage, John Morrison, Austin Aries, Matt Cardona. Missing someone, missing someone. Who was the uh, who was the Australian, the only Australian to hold that championship? Oh, it was me, Robbie Eagles. I did picture that this moment, me telling that little story, would happen in Sydney, in my hometown. 
But yeah, unfortunately, it has to happen in front of you lot in Perth. <laughs> Excited. We do this right here, right now. Yeah. So get me a referee. Don't fall down it. The there you go. Had a boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a singles match set for one fall, and it is for the World Series Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing first from Jonestown, New South Wales, he is a former World Series Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Sniper of the Skies, Robbie Eagle. From Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, he is your reigning and defending World Series Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the Perfect Ten, Sean Smith! The crowd clearly on the side of Sean Spears. Interesting turn of events. Maybe because he name drops Sydney, who's to say? Surely it is the popularity of the WSW World Heavyweight Champion, Sean Spears. The perfect 10 up against the Sniper of the Skies. Of course, Robbie Eagles is joined by fellow TMDK member, uh, Kosei Fujita. Uh, Ichiban Sweet Boys, they call themselves as a tag team. That's Did a you know great, that? fantastic name. You, I, you've just told me that and I love it. Like Sending Fujita to the back. Just you and me. Robbie Eagles wants to do this fair and square, my friends. The championship is on the line. And what a way to start off this show. I mean, this is unbelievable. Ring the bell, my friend. This one is about to go. There we go. Good job. There we go. Robbie Eagles and Sean Spears. We've got a massive night in store for all of you tonight. Multiple championships will be on the line, including that humongous three-team 
main event. And here we go, locking up collar and elbow tie up. Robbie Eagles takes down the champ. Robbie Eagles getting a hold of Sean Spears' 10 sign. The crowd, yeah, clearly on the side of Sean Spears. Which is interesting because we've seen Robbie Eagles in WA many times and the fans love him. I mean, he's so popular. I mean, I love Robbie Eagles. He's amazing. But, uh, oh, upside down 10. I don't know what that means. But. Nonetheless, he's on the outside of the ring and the referee is dishing out the uh, 10 count. Oh, there you go. It's just the Sydney yeah. connection as to why they're going in. I mean, that is fair. Sydney does suck, but... Uh... And I mean, Sean Spears, just an absolute powerhouse and a popular man down under. Robbie Eagle showing off his technical prowess. He is a technical wizard, absolutely. That he is, huh? but uh, Spears letting him know that he's no slouch as well when it comes to the technical game. The Eagles is trying to work his way out of the hold now. Spears turns it around back, working the wrist here. He's got it locked in tight. The Eagles with some quick and smooth moves here. Tries to get that leg lock in. Sean Spears pushing away. Goes straight back out to the outside. Trying to play some mind games with the champion, I think, Robbie Eagles here, the sniper of the skies. This is a, to be honest, this is a different side of Robbie Eagles. At the times we've seen him before, he, this is not the uh, Robbie Eagles that I remember. I'm not saying I don't love it. This is, it's an interesting take on it, but um, he's definitely getting in the head of, of uh, Sean Spears here. Robbie Eagles is a very well-traveled man. He's had an extremely busy 2023, traveling all around the world. As we said, he's a former WSW World Heavyweight Champion himself. Uh, of course, he's held championships uh, in New Japan Pro Wrestling as well, both the Junior Heavyweight title and the Junior Tag title, as well as copious amounts of championships all around Australia. But it's that belt that hangs in the balance of this matchup, the WSW World Heavyweight Champion. That's the one that he wants more than anything right now. It's probably why he's mixing up and playing these head games like he is right here. I mean, look, Sean Spears is indicating that it's not working, but I think after a while it's got to get the better of you. But he just needs to keep his head in the game. Robbie Eagles trying to get Sean Spears to come outside. Oh, that's going to hurt. Smart move as well from Spears' perspective too. Oh, oh yes. Ducks a clothesline, wraps him around, goes behind again. Snap me a takedown. And 10, 10. The crowd is absolutely loving it here at the Vasto Club. I mean, it's infectious. It certainly is. The crowd here at the Vasto Club in Perth are loving Sean Spears, the perfect Thank 10. You. It's been a huge tour so far and an even bigger one for Sean Spears. Of course, we are smack bang in the middle of it right here. Two more shows up oh. tonight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice Robbie. kick to the midsection of Robbie Eagles there. Tried to sneak up on the perfect 10, but it didn't quite go the way he planned. Yeah. Takes down the leg, hits the ropes, that goes up. Oh, there you go. Nice knee drop there. He's going for the float over, but dropped the knee into Sean Spears' knee and quick on the attack, trying to take the bigger man down. Of course, Robbie Eagles, he uh, loves to apply that Ron Miller special, so softly yeah, up the legs is a great idea if that's how he's planning to end this one and take back the title that he so badly desires. I mean, we often talk about ring intelligence, but maybe there is none other more intelligent than Robbie Eagles, a master of his craft, that's for sure. That he is, of course, a fellow member of TMDK, like we mentioned, doing massive things in 2023. I mean, he's not doing Australia proud here tonight, but recently did Australia proud, competing in the uh, best of the Super Juniors in New Japan, really making a name for himself over there. Did it very well now as he is working over the leg of Sean Spears. <laughs> I don't think he's got a 10 count as much as he uh, 
can ask for it. He's simultaneously getting under the skin of Sean Spears as well as this packed out audience oh. here in Perth, Western Australia. I mean, he's really got the better of him. I mean, Sean Spears is he's on his knees now. He's at the beck and call of Robbie Eagles. He's just taken it to him. Oh, my, my, it may have spoken too soon there. Spit in his hand, on his feet. Oh, shining up that boot. Put a little bit of extra sting on it, Wally. Some real disrespect. Sean Spears almost egging him on here. He's challenging him to bring out his best. Spears now getting right up in the grill. Of Eagles. Oh, my goodness. Here we go, my friends. Some heavy chops of his own. Reverse Robbie Eagles whipped into the corner, but Sean Spears out with a big clothesline. But you can see the work that Robbie Eagles has done on Sean Spears' knee, favoring that, favoring that left knee. But the crowd here really helping Sean Spears out, getting that adrenaline pumping and keeping him in this match. Oh, it could be time for a perfect 10 of the best. Time for the magic number. He's got the He's got the bandana on at all. It's infectious. You really want to count along with him. I'm trying to keep professional here, but... It really is in <laughs> infectious. A lot of fans in attendance here came here to see the WSW World Heavyweight Champion in action, and he is not disappointing here this evening. Robbie Eagles, though, doing a great job of trying to get the hell out of his way, basically. I'm using that intelligence to get out of the way, but Sean Spears follows him out and follows it up with a huge chop. As uh, it feels like Robbie Eagles is trying to scatter away from him, trying to get as, put as much distance between him and Sean Spears as possible. Well, Robbie Eagles is well known for his speed and agility, but he's using his speed for a different purpose here, trying to get the hell away from the champion. Here we go. Damn! That just echoed all throughout the building. Oh, that chest rever sorry, the chop reverberated through Robbie Eagle's chest and up through his head. It's almost like he doesn't know where he is. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, it was on night one of the uh, full thr throttle tour that uh, Spears managed to win the championship off of Matt Cardona, the former champion. Of course, since then, he uh, had a massive matchup with Frankie Kazarian. It was a hell of a contest, but unfortunately, uh, we didn't get the result we were after. Ended in a no contest. And then on our last show in Adelaide, uh, managed to defeat in a four-way matchup Kazarian, Cardona, and Eric Young. So, Spears has been on an absolute tear on this tour. Yeah, absolutely. He, did, he had that hand against Robbie Eagles, but Robbie Eagles went back to that hurt, the uh, hurt knee. And you can see it's really taken it out of... Sean Spears here struggling to get off the mat. But as it may, Robbie Eagles going up to the top rope where he feels very much at home. Spears smart <laughs> enough to get the hell out the way. Now, the guy's called the sniper of the skies for a reason. You don't want to let him get any of his aerial offense happening here tonight, especially if he wants to retain that championship. Eagles now going to the opposing corner. Maybe the perfect Spears 10 there. playing a bit of possum here. I think he knows very well what he's doing. Talk about head games. It's clearly the frustration building in Robbie Eagles. Crowd is absolutely eating it up. Oh, look out, here we go. Eagles though, turns reverse. I thought he was gonna go for a pin. Not gonna happen though, Spears. Locks him up with a sharp shooter. Right in the middle of the ring. Great ring positioning from the perfect 10 there. Absolutely. Perfect positioning. Perfect uh, technique on that sharp shooter. And it's going to take every ounce of strength for Robbie Eagles to get to those ropes. Oh, he's made the ropes. Crowd doesn't like it, but Spears has to break the hold. And he does so. The ever-intelligent Robbie Eagles knows where he is at all times in that ring. Ma managing to scramble towards the ropes. Spears, of course, he's favoring that leg as well, just putting on the sharpshooter and holding it in place, doing extra damage, putting extra torque on that knee of Sean Spears. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe because of the, of the knee, he couldn't quite uh, get the... Oh, hold on. Hangman DDT, nice! 
by Sean Spears there. Could we see it? Oh, came so close to retaining his championship. Eagles, though, managed to kick out. Oh, Eagles up. Trying for that C4 Death Valley driver, but Robbie Eagles holding on. Oh, what a kick right to the side of the head. Now is the time for Robbie Eagles to try and capitalize on the perfect 10 here. Try and regain that WSW World Heavyweight Championship that means so much to him. He's not going to get too many opportunities, that's for sure. This is the one. It has to be now, now or never for Robbie Eagles to reclaim that World Series Wrestling World Championship. Try, trying to climb the ropes himself. Looks a bit a little worse for, worse for wear himself. Here we go, springboard. Ooh, didn't quite go as planned. Double underhook, Eagles gets out. Here we go. Just plants him, hooks the leg. Do we have a, no, we don't have a new champ. Oh, not yet, he's locked it in. The Ron Miller special. This could be it, he's put in a lot of work into that leg of Sean Spears, Wally. Robbie Eagles just holds it on tight. And we talk about perfect positioning. Look at the positioning where Robbie Eagles is and where Sean Spears is. Sean Spears could not be further away from a rope and Robbie Eagles is blocking him from that closest position. He's won matches with this very hold all around the world, but Spears manages to get his hands on that bottom rope. Eagles has to break the hold. He definitely does not want a disqualification because the championship will not change hands on a disqualification. So he wisely breaks the hold, but the damage could be done on this leg of the champion. Solid kicks from Robbie Eagles to that injured knee of Sean Spears. Continuing to put the damage in. That's him up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep in mind, Spears has wrestled every single night of the tour. Robbie has only done one of the previous three nights. And here we go. Oh, nobody home on that one. That would have been it for sure. But both men to their feet. Oh, 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 oh. down he goes. Will it be enough to retain? Yes, it is. Sean Spears has retained. has retained the WSW World Heavyweight Championship. What an amazing way to start off the night. Unbelievable contest to start our night here at World Series Wrestling in Perth. Sean Spears definitely looking a little bit worse for wear. It'll be interesting to see how he fares in the rest of the tour with the damage that's been done to that knee. Maybe a bit of respect here between Sean Spears and Robbie Eagles, but Still, your World Series Wrestling World Champion and clearly the crowd favourite, the Perfect Ten, Sean Spears. Crowd loved every bit of it. Well done. The champion, Sean Spears, of course, Robbie Eagles, scored a solid game plan here tonight. is a triple threat match and it is for the World Series Wrestling Women's Championship! We're going from championship match to championship match here tonight my friends. Time to get excited. This is Lena Cross, someone who is from Perth, Western Australia. These fans in attendance know her well and are so proud to see her here on this world stage. Yeah, representing Rebellion. She's been representing Rebellion on this tour, teaming with her tag team partner, Jessica Troy. Unfortunately, in a losing effort against her two opponents here tonight in uh, Cassie Lee and Harley Cameron.
wrestling a follow on all forms of social media. Australia turn, returning to the professional wrestling ring in a very long time, and it is fantastic to see her here tonight. That is my crowd, of course. The uh, World Series Wrestling Australian uh, Women's Championship. It was vacated. Unfortunately, Steph Delanda managed yeah. to get injured on the first night of the tour, so there was a gauntlet matchup where that very championship was hanging in the balance, and Cassie Lee managed to get the victory and is now the WSW Women's Champion. Here's an interesting bit of trivia for you, Ming Ding. You can see the relationship between Harley Cameron and Casey, Cassie Lee here. Harley Cameron actually sings the song that you are hearing right now. I did not know that. This goes to show the amazing talent that we have here in World Series Wrestling. Hell of a voice on Harley Cameron. Yeah, definitely some musical talents. I have some musical talents of my own. This triple threat match for the World Series Wrestling Women's Championship. From Perth, Western Australia, representing World Birmingham, From AEW, Holly Hoombron! And from Sydney, Australia, representing the inspiration, the reigning, and the pending World Series Wrestling Women's Champion, Cassie! Lucky are we, Mean Dean. I was going to say, we are absolutely blessed with this matchup. The crowd is loving it as well. Such great representation of Australian talent here tonight. That right there is what it's all about. The referee holds up high. World Series Wrestling a Women's Championship. I mean, an incredible way to start the show. The World Series Wrestling World Championship on the line. First up and now... The WSW Women's Championship is on the line in a huge triple threat match. This show is absolutely stacked, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, again, here we go. Triple threat action. Start. Now, I wonder if the the alliance, the allegiance, I guess, between Cassie Lee <laughs> and Harley Cameron will play out here. Lena Cross asserting her dominance earlier. She Crowd is She's so, so tall. tall. Oh! oh. That's one way around it. Not only tall, but strong. Able to hold off 
the two smaller opponents here. There you go, and oh wait, thought we were going to see a hey, heads as a takedown. Lena Cross manages to reverse it. Inside block slam. Got a surge of fire followed by Lena Cross, of course. Uh, the women traveling herself spent some time in the United States earlier this year as well. Yeah, well, well traveled, Lena Cross. I mean, she's recently been ready uh, wrestling in Japan. Sendai Girls and DDT. I found out she recently wrestled in Alaska. I've never heard of anyone wrestling in Alaska before. So, uh, extremely well-traveled Lena Cross. Any place, anywhere, you will see the best that this great country has to offer, as we're seeing on display here in World Series Wrestling, as Cross goes off the ropes, they duck the clothesline, goes under again. And out she goes. Nearly steals the championship. I mean, you could see it coming a mile away. As we always say, every man, every woman for herself. And uh, although we can make alliances in professional wrestling, you've got to make sure you've got eyes in the back of your head as Harley Kramen goes for that roll-up on Cassie Lee. Cassie Lee with a tight side headlock. Let's get out of that one, does Harley. Oops, takes a deep arm drag there by Lee. And another one to go along with it. The women's champion fought hard in that gauntlet match to win that very title belt. Nice headlock takeover. Rolls her over, goes for the cover. Harley Cameron able to kick out, goes for a cover of her own. Cassie Lee kicking out of that one. Rolls her up with a bit of a inside cradle. No, nope, shoulders aren't down. Referee doesn't count it. Checking which way the momentum was going. Harley, the two count. Lots of tradings of near falls here in the early goings of this championship matchup. It is anyone's for the take. Oh, red oh. Nice DDT by Harley Cameron there. Ah, yeah. Lena Cross, opportunist, comes in, moves Harley Cameron out of the way, goes for a pin of her own. Cassie Lee able to kick out. Ah, yeah. Huge clothesline there by Lena Cross on Harley Cameron, knocking her off her feet. And a display of dominance as she uh, puts her arms up to get the support of the local crowd. I was going to say, it's tough to see whose side the crowd is on in this very matchup, but I think if Lena Cross can manage to get the victory and take home the WSW Women's Championship, the roof may blow off this very building. See the hometown hero get the victory and the championship around her waist. Tell me if you're done. You just tell me. I'm good. Now she launches Cassie Lee's head into that turnbuckle. Really having a, her way with these uh, two women. Being able to take Harley Cameron off to one side, put her out of the game, and now she's working on Cassie Lee with some huge back elbows there. And a big boot to Harley Cameron. Cameron looks rocked right about now. So Lena Cross going to put in some extra work there. Big Irish whip to the far corner. Goes to the outside though. Nice moves there. Oh, gets met with a hard forearm shot right to the side of the face. Lena Cameron, sorry, Lena Cross trying to take advantage. <coughs> While Harley Cameron is out of the ring, pinning Cassie Lee, trying to get that WSW Women's Championship. Now just choking her over that middle ring rope. That is illegal. Referee letting her know that is not on at all and that is not going to win you the championship. I mean, if Lena Cross can get the job done here tonight and she can walk away as the World Series Wrestling Women's Champion, I mean, that'll be a huge feather in her cap. Not only will she be the Women's Champion, but she would have defeated one of the most experienced women in the wrestling industry today, Cassie Lee. And she's really just dominating her. <laughs> Only getting the two count there. Of course, Cassie Lee has done some tremendous things all around in pro wrestling. Done work with Impact, work with WWE as well. Former Knockouts Tag Team Champion and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion as well. Battle out now as Lena Cross is doing everything she can to keep her down. Cassie Lee's not going to make it easy for her, but right now got her up in the uh, five persons carry. So her up and only a two count. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. oh, what a 
oh. knee. This is it. Lena Cross has to. Got the shoulder up. As uh, Harley Cameron's back on the outside ring apron, has gathered her bearings after getting wiped out earlier. Oh, goes low. Cross though, grabs a handful of hair and throws her face into that turn bump. Too strong, too dominant. Harley Cameron not able to get Lena Cross off her feet, but she is here, goes for that cover, rolls her up. Very close. We nearly had a new champion in a Harley Cameron laying the boots in now to Lena Cross. Not letting her catch her breath. <laughs> Hits a high note while she's at it as well. You're a bit of a singer, Wally. You're an Australian idol. Can you hit high notes like that? Not with, uh, not with what I'm equipped with, no. Didn't know what that was for a second. It took, blew, blew my uh, eardrums away. Cross now builds up some momentum and oh, nicely done right there. What an innovative move, sliding under that bottom rope into almost a... Uh, a reverse powerbomb. Harley Cameron's head and neck slamming off the apron. And the crowd clearly now behind Lena Cross. Yeah, she's definitely been the aggressor of this matchup. Cassie Lee, though, throwing it back into the ring. Gonna go for here. Oh, nice move there. Takes her with the shoulder and came back with the scorpion kick. Ring. Oh, nice back elbow there from Cassie Lee. Follows it up with a huge clothesline and a huge, huge side leg kick to the face. Lena Cross is down. And if Cassie Lee wants to keep that WSW Women's Championship, she must get the job down there. Fisherman, suplex, cover, one, two. Harley Cameron in to break it up. We surely were going to see Cassie Lee hold on to her championship there if Harley Cameron did not make the save. Picture perfect, bridging Fisherman there by Cassie Ooh. Lee. You would think it would have been all hers for the taking should Harley had not interrupted that count. All three women down. Oh. Referee up to a five, six, five count. Good to see you're keeping count, Wally. As is the crowd. What is a massive night of awesome action? I mean, if we get if we get a uh, count out here, Cassie Lee keeps her championship. It's not the way we'd want to see it go, but no, not at all. So that crowd attendance doesn't want it to go that way either. They want to see a definitive winner in this matchup. All three women haven't even made it up to their feet, and they're trading hard shots here. Slogging it out on the ground here with some huge forearms. Harley Cameron blocking the forearm of Cassie Lee, taking it to the other two women in this matchup. Backing down to no one. Harley Cameron doing it with amazing style, just throws Cross into Lee. And oh, there you go. Some innovation for you right there. Nice will be the enough. Cover. I mean, she's one of the most inexperienced women in the ring right now, but she. I mean, she is very close to becoming the next WSW Women's Champion here tonight. Trying to get those covers in. It's not getting the job done. She needs to work her opponents down further to get the cover. Maybe a little bit of inexperience shot here. Yes, it takes some, en it takes some energy to kick out, but I think it's going to take a little bit more to uh, keep the champion down and to keep Lena Cross down as well. Cameron would like nothing more than to win the WSW Women's Championship and take it back to AEW with her as she slams Cassie Lee's head into that turnbuckle, perching her up on the top rope now. Oh, a hard shot to go along with it too. Come on, it's over. Oh, Lena Cross though. What is she going to do here? Oh, oh no you are way. kidding me, Wally. Surely um, not. Unbelievable. She has both competitors of the matchup up at a fireman's carry. <laughs> oh, if she had hit that, that would have been all she wrote. The crowd were well behind her. Nice dueling super kicks there by Harley Cameron and Cassie Lee. Lena Cross off her feet. Harley was going to go for the cover. Oh. 
Cassie went for the same thing too. Harley now with another roll up. Ooh, so close. Locking her up. Goes to roll up. Oh wait, Cassie Lee. That's it. Cassie Lee able to block the pinning attempt of Harley Cameron and hit her own uh, pinning attempt on Harley Cameron to retain the WSW Women's Championship here tonight. An incredible showing from Lena Cross and Harley Cameron, but the champion retains. Yeah, that's right. It's one of those things you said. Uh, Harley Cameron may have been uh, less experienced than Cassie Lee, but that experienced edge may have made the difference in the ending of that matchup. But a great showing from Harley Cameron, and of course, her zone, Lena Cross, showing that she does have what it takes to hang with the best. But all of the props go to the retaining champion, Cassie Lee, back in Australia, and back with championship gold around her waist. Well fought victory there, and the crowd absolutely loves it for it too. World Series Wrestling Full Throttle Night Number Four here in Perth, Western Australia. Thank you so much for joining us. We still got some amazing matchups in your way as well. Keep that applause going. She's still your World Series Wrestling Women's Champion, Cassie Lee. This is a singles match set for one fall. It is the first time ever dream match. Yeah. Introducing first. To the ring from the Fat Fat Nine, the machine. has come alive, my friend. Machine Brian Cage has entered. What an absolute monster Brian Cage is. An imposing figure. To say the very least, the machine here in Perth, Western Australia. No stranger to those of you familiar with World Series Wrestling. And he's here in this dream match. You can roll for a long time. You can run for a long time. Never faced each other before, so we are in for a first here tonight in Perth, Western Australia, World Series Wrestling. Eric Young, the world-class maniac, up against the machine, Brian Cage. This is going to be something special, my friend. Yeah, I mean, we talk about world-class maniac. These are two world-class competitors, and I am ever so excited to see the match that these two put on here tonight. You're the, uh, you're the comic book fan, Mean Dean. What is the uh, helmet that Eric Young wore to the ring? What does that represent? That's Eric Young's mask himself.
crowd giving a this is awesome chant before the bell is even rung. Crowd in attendance is absolutely pumped up for this one. Like I said, chatting, this is awesome before the bell. Wait, what? what is this? What the hell? What the hell is this? Surely not. No. Flip Gordon's not been on this tour. He's been missing in action. <laughs> Wait! Unbelievable! Flip Gordon's here in Perth, Western Australia? I mean, Flip Gordon is one of Brian Cage's longest, most dearest friends, but I mean, nobody knew that Flip Gordon was here in Australia. I mean, look, Brian Cage didn't even know Flip Gordon was here. What is he doing here? Well, he wasn't meant to be on this tour. He's, uh, Brian Cage hasn't heard from him either. Of course, these two formerly the, the tag team, the, uh, the Flipping Machines, of course, former uh, World Series Wrestling Tag Team Champions, are they held those championships for over 1,300 days? Jesus Christ. I mean, that's unbelievable. Unprecedented is what it is, but uh, I mean, Brian Cage this has just absolutely boosted his mood here tonight. This, this could be the difference. I mean, Eric Young is no slouch, and Brian Cage just shoved him off with ease. Definitely getting a boost from his friend Flip Gordon, who has surprised us all. I mean, fantastic to see, but absolutely blown away here. Yeah, not something at all that we were expecting here at full throttle night number four. But nonetheless, this dream match is what we're getting treated to here as Brian Cage working over the wrist of Eric Young. He's going to turn it around at him now. There we go. Side headlock locked in tight. Young is getting off. Oh, oh, oh. Gets knocked out by Cage, which I can only imagine is the equivalent of being hit by a truck. Whoa. Beautiful agility there by Cage. Eric Young, though. Doubles it up with a beautiful textbook drop kick there. Brian Cage, not just powerful, but athletic and agile as they come. Eric Young showing some agility of his own over the corner, in back in the ring, underneath. Whips Brian Cage off the rope. And follows it up with a drop kick of his own. Let's Brian Cage know what it's like right there. Crowd chanting EY now as well. The crowd doesn't know who to go for here. They're just pumped for it all. You love to see it, my friends. This is World Series Wrestling. Two extremely popular wrestlers here and a little show of respect there by the two absolute competitors. It's tattooed on the back of EY. You can see the word respect. Elbow top. Cage takes him down. Load over by Eric Young. Shrugs him off. Ooh, goes for a huge clothesline. Young gets out the way. Power slam by Cage. Massive power slam there. The speed and agility of Brian Cage is just incredible considering the size of this man. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if you've never seen Brian Cage before, you sort of expect... Be <laughs> Huge chop there by Brian Cage. You'd sort of expect him to be slow, methodical, you know, at a, at a comfortable pace, but he can really push it to his competitors with his quickness. <laughs> Pulling it up there with a huge European uppercut. Yeah, and his speed and agility definitely defies his size and strength. It's right now the Irish whips Young to the corner. Young goes over the top and out the way there. Low kick, strike to the back of the neck as well. Here we go. No way. Unbelievable. I thought he had him there. Eric Young with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex, getting Brian Cage off his feet, following up with the two count, unable to get the job done. He has to stay on him here. Look at the power of oh. Eric Young. Setting himself up, going to the top rope. Maybe we can see a moonsault here. Is he going to fly? Yes, he is, but oh, Cage got out the way. Big clothesline by the machine. Could you imagine getting hit with that clothesline, mean Dean? I mean, I don't look at to. the size of those biceps and triceps. I mean, just it'd break your jaw. 
Oh. Speaking of breaking jaws, followed up there with the uh, forearm by Brian Cage. Oh, Ooh, those massive shoulders into the midsection of Eric Young there. Be enough to take the wind out of him. It's been a fantastic match so far. Cage, though, Ooh, vertical suplex there. Manages to take him down, but only a two count. Here you go, he's going to take the air out of him on the mat. Smart thinking there by Cage. The crowd here in attendance rallying behind both competitors. See Flip Gordon on the outside coaching uh, Brian Cage. Giving him some encouragement as the fans encouraging Eric Young to get to his feet. I still can't believe Flip Gordon's here. Shocked us. I mean, you saw the look on Brian Cage's face. He had no idea. Oh, huge back elbow by Brian Cage and Eric Young returned to the mat. Oh, big forearm shot and oh, big chop to the chest as well. Throwing fists at the world-class maniac is Brian Cage. Goes for another huge Irish whip. Oh, Eric Young cuts it off though. Delivers a chop of his own. Following it up with some punches too. Cage now coming off the ropes. Oh, oh huge goodness. right hand by Eric Young off the ropes. Oh, a drop toe hold. Just leaves him hanging on that middle rope. We're out calling for the 619. No way! Unbelievable! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Have you ever seen anything like that before? The agility, agility, the athleticism of Brian Cage on show, and what the hell is he doing now? No way! I would not have believed if I didn't see it with my own eyes, but here comes Brian Cage! <laughs> He would have absolutely destroyed Eric Young if he'd hit that top rope elbow. Luckily, Eric Young able to roll out of the way. Looks like Brian Cage may have tweaked his knee on that one. Maybe landed a bit awkwardly there. Definitely favoring that knee. Eric Young, forearm off the ropes. Brian Cage to his feet, another back elbow. Brian Cage off his feet again. Discus Lariat by Eric Young. Must capitalize now to win this dream match here at World Series Wrestling, full throttle. Got him up, stalling. Oh, so close. How did he kick out of that? Almost a stalling DVD, Death Valley driver there, driving. Brian Cage into the mat. Brian Cage still able to kick out the machine that he is. Keeps on trucking. Eric Young getting to the second rope. Goes for a splash. Brian Cage out the way. Got him up now. He's going. Oh, sit down, power bomb. Young got the shoulder up. This has been a crazy matchup. Some of the feats of strength that we've seen by Eric Young have just been unfathomable. What's going on here? Flip Gordon. Flip Gordon's getting, uh, getting told by the referee that he's going to... Trying to help Brian Cage out, but uh, almost laying a distraction in. Young! Clearly... Oh, that's it! Unbelievable! Oh, damn it! Is your Young gets the victory in this first ever dream match. Flip, Flip Gordon, unfortunately, inadvertently distracting the referee, distracting Brian Cage, and Eric Young took advantage with the roll-up. Getting the three count here tonight, and a huge victory in Perth for Eric Young. Huge win by the world-class maniac. The crowd showing their appreciation. I mean, Brian Cage was obviously extremely happy to see his friend come all the way to Australia to watch him compete here tonight, but not the way they wanted it to turn out and maybe not so happy to see Flip Gordon after all.
I'm so sorry, Cage. I fucked up. I was so excited not only to be back here in Australia, but I was excited because I thought you had the match won. Listen, I'm so sorry. I know I haven't been calling you or responding to your texts. But I have a match tonight, and I need you in my corner. I need the flipping machines back together here in Australia. What do you say? Crowd not helping hey, Flip Gordon's guy. case here. Alright, look. You flew all this way from Connecticut to surprise me. I haven't seen you or talk to you since you left me hanging in Sydney. You went and broke up with your, well, I guess technically your fiance. They got married to somebody else, didn't even invite me to the wedding. Now you accidentally, accidentally, cost me the match. No, well, Flip, uh, I'm a pretty forgiving guy. Life's been complicated. Now, hold on, I didn't say I forget anything, but I can be a pretty forgiving guy. Everyone, everyone deserves a second chance. So, I'll come out here, I'll rep the flipping machines in your corner for your match tonight, and then we'll see what happens from there. Tonight. I don't even know who's in the state. Yeah, I mean we don't we don't even know who his opponent is. I don't know if does Flip Gordon know who his opponent is. Some uh, interesting questions raised in that match. It'll be interesting to see what happens later on tonight at World Series Wrestling Full Throttle here in Perth. Well, still some huge shows to come on this tour. Brisbane on October the 12th and Sydney on October the 13th. The Sydney show is completely sold out. If you happen to live in Brisbane, there's some that the tickets are left. The World Series Wrestling Australian Champion Chair. I did tell you all the titles were on the line here tonight. And this one is going to be huge. And here he is, the challenger, the universal swolger, Mikey Broderick. It's time to squat. Of course, Mikey Broderick has been wrestling around Australia for many years, but he has recently moved to here in Perth, Western Australia. So many of the fans will be familiar with him. He's a member of TMDK as well. He's gonna have a hell of a matchup on his hands here. Up against the World Series Wrestling Australian Champion. Championship in hand, TJP. TJP, a man who has done so much in the world of wrestling all around the globe since he debuted in 1999. He has wrestled for almost every major promotion all around the world. He has held championships all around the world as well. But he is right now the World Series Wrestling Australian Champion. 
Because he's recently been doing work in New Japan Pro Wrestling as part of the United Empire as well. At any point of the year, he could be anywhere around the world mixing it up with the very best that Pro Wrestling has to offer. Introducing from Perth, Western Australia, Referee showing Broderick what it is all about, what hangs in the balance. That beautiful World Series Wrestling Australian Championship. This one is underway, of course. TJP has been on a hell of a roll throughout the full throttle tour. Of course, he defeated Chris Bay on night one. Managed to defeat both Brian Cage and Speedball Mike Bailey on night two, and Kose Fuchida on uh, night three. But he's got the universal swolger in his path here in Perth, Western Australia. Who's warming up the only way he knows how, with some squats. You much of a squatter, Mean Dean? Oh, look, I, I, I've done one or two in my day. Oh, it looks like oh, I thought TJP was going to do some squats in his to, own. Is he going to? Oh. <laughs> Puts a bit of flair, a bit of style on his squats. TJP, a technical wizard, a technical master. TJP, one of the best technical wrestlers in the world today. It'll be interesting to see this uh, clash of styles, you'd say, from the power of Mikey Broderick and the technical prowess of TJP. Just getting a little bit of extra uh, space. <laughs> and the legs there, but <laughs> Broderick, turning into a stretch. Stretching it out. Very well done, important to stretch before you uh, do anything athletic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ropes. Oh. Hard shoulder block there by Broderick. Ah. Some steps now. It's all part of the workout. Back on his feet, the wrist lock put in tight there by Broderick. How is the slickness of TJP? Nice head scissor takeover. Mikey Broderick with the head scissors of his own. TJP working his way out of it, trying to think his way out of this move, gets the counter and a huge basement drop kick from TJP, square in the face of Mikey Broderick. Of course, TJP part of the United Empire, Team DK as well. All those factions have been doing battle in Japan. We're witnessing it, more of it right here in Western Australia. TJP. Stop. He does so. Unreal. Unreal. Are we going to see a squat off? No. TJP not having a bar on it. Hey, TJP's championship hangs in the balance. He's got time for squats. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe Mikey Broderick needs to start taking this matchup a little bit more seriously. Well, that'll do it. Bloody. <laughs> 
Oscar, you show receive. A little press by Broderick. Crab was calling for a squat. If he managed to squat him while holding him up in the gorilla press, it would have been incredibly impressive. Ah. Ah. Broderick whipping TJP off the ropes. TJP to the outside, back inside, rolling him up. Everything it's TJP does is just so smooth. So smooth. Ah. And he makes it look so easy ah. as well. Getting in that sharpshooter. I had the uh, honor and privilege to train with TJ Perkins back in the day, back when I traveled to America in 2007. And uh, it absolutely blew my mind, the uh, wrestling intelligence that this man has, how he can counter out of a counter and put a hold into a hold. Look, it's unbelievable, unmatched, and he's uh, putting on a display here tonight. Now, while you said that was, what, 2007? Yeah. It's 2023. Yeah. Imagine all yeah. that he has uh, evolved Don't upon that me. in that time. I mean, he's a true master. But he is few to better. Ooh. We talk about students of the game. I don't know if, if you can call TJP a student anymore, but he's always learning, always honing his craft, trying to get better. And it's showing here. Work with Mikey Broderick down in the corner. I'll tell you what, the locals here in attendance at the Basto Club, they're quite familiar with Mikey Broderick, but this isn't a position they're used to seeing him in. DJP with the face wash, charges through, and lets him have it. Broderick now gets rolled into the center of the ring. Great ring positioning there by TJP. You spoke about his wrestling intelligence. Great display of it right there. But not just a technical wizard can uh, hang with the big boys, that's for sure. Driving his knee into the back of Mikey Broderick and following up with a nice deep chin lock here. Mikey Broderick fighting out of it. Shots to the stomach of TJP off the ropes. TJP with an assisted hip toss in. Look at the torque on that arm, on that shoulder. It's going to pop it out of its socket. Trying to get Mikey Broderick to give up, to tap yeah. out. Ah. Of course, the uh, World Series Wrestling Australian Championship is what it's all about. It is on the line here in this matchup. TJP winning that championship on a previous tour of World Series Wrestling uh, during the U Unleash Hell Tour. Oh, yeah. Defeated, listen to these names, Bandito. <laughs> Huge slam there by Mikey Broderick. Bandito, Joey Janela, Flip Gordon, Effie, and Chris Basso in a six-man scramble to win that Australian championship. And he's the only person to have held that title so far, which is why he's fighting so hard to keep it here this evening. It's <laughs> Roderick. Warming his way up. Can he get it over? Skinning the cat in the ring he goes. Follows it up with a nice headlock into an elbow. Slamming TJP to the mat. Mikey Broderick trying to get the crowd into it here. Both men taking their time using the referee's count to uh, get a bit of energy back, get a bit of more oxygen in the lungs. Crowd attendance is very torn in this matchup. They've got someone who they know, a hometown hero in Mikey Broderick. And they've got TJP, a person who they've seen for many years wrestle on television, even has made his way to Perth previously before as well. They're just loving what they see here with World Series Wrestling. Broderick now lining up, close line of TJP, back elbow strike to go along with it. It's gonna go for here, he's got him up in the fireman's carry. Crowd knows what they wanna see. And he's gonna deliver it. Squat into a slam, into a senton. Getting the cover. Could we see a new Australian Championship? No, almost. Mikey Broderick. Almost. We nearly saw a new championship, but TJP able to kick out Mikey Broderick. Signaling to the corner, going to the top rope. What can we see here from Mikey Broderick? He's known to go for that anabolic elbow, but it's not going to happen with TJP. Cut him off right there. <laughs> TJP setting him up. Going for a superplex here. Roderick able to block it. Lowering 
his weight and wisely so at that. The very large individual to try and superplex is Broderick. It's up on the top rope now. Oh, just wore that drop kick right on the jaw. Going for that double axe handle, but TJP saw it coming and hit him with that beautiful drop kick, knocking Mikey Broderick off his feet. Two men struggling to get to their feet again. And really, the uh, pace that these two men have run this match. It is exhausting to watch, and I can't even imagine how exhausting it is for these two men in there. Luthes pressed by TJP. Another drop kick there. Rocky goes charging in. TJP gets around it. Oh! Beautiful swing DDT there by the Australian champion TJP. Crowd chatting for him as he throws up the sign of the United Empire. Oh my goodness, he has got Broderick locked up. Could we see a submission here? Is TJP about to retain his WSW Australian Championship? Oh, look out. So close. So close. I mean, just the, the uh, intelligence to go from that submission hold not working. He's not getting the tap out. So rolls it into the cover, almost getting the job down. But he's going to have to go to the skies. TJP climbing the top rope. No strain to the top rope as he comes up with the cross body. Rodrigo rolls through, makes a pin as well. Oh. Come on! Nearly got the championship. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, spinning kick there by TJP. Oh, and a knee strike right at the corner of the jaw. Huge elbow there, Mikey Broderick not messing around anymore. Goes for a tornado, DDT of his own. Spikes TJP down onto the mat. Signaling for that, going to the top rope for that anabolic elbow. If he hits it here, we will definitely see a new World Series Wrestling Australian Champion. This will be huge if he can get it. Here we go, Mikey Broderick. TJP, oh, big super kick. Wise enough to get out the way. He's got him up now in a fireman's carry. Broderick battles out of it though. Goes up for a suplex. TJP not going to let it happen. Knocks the hold in again. But you can see the extra torque. Torque he's put on that shoulder. You can see the veins, the uh, muscles, the tendons oh, popping, tapped. and that he's is tapped. it. TJP retains. What a matchup. With a high submission. What an amazing matchup we just witnessed, all in the name of the WSW Australian Championship. This is world class, my friends, and this is World Series Wrestling. Marky Project was so close, but unfortunately for him, not close enough to take that beautiful championship belt away from TJP. Yeah, incredible showing by both men, but TJP walking away, the better man and your WSW Australian champion. He's the only man to have held that championship. His legacy is attached to it. The crowd here showing their appreciation for the amazing talent that man possesses and has brought to the shores here of Western Australia. WSW As always, thank you for joining us here on Fight TV. If you like what you see, check out worldseriesrestling.com.au to find out where you can see more of this awesome action. He's an incredible wrestler and still the World Series Wrestling Australian Champion,
As always, forget King Charles, the true king of Australia is here. Matt Cardona, represent. That's right, as we said, has not been able to get a win on this tour, but he's here in Perth, Western Australia, so who knows what we're gonna see here. Crowd very excited to see him though, all the same. Yeah, I mean, if this isn't on our run sheet, he wasn't announced for a match. Maybe Matt Cardona just coming out to have a polite chat with the Australian crowd. Oh, that's uh, not very polite. Cardona, though, he must have got the memo about Australia. He's got the Aussie flag, sunglasses. He's got the Australian flag cake, although he's uh, tailored it with his own logo as well. If he was wearing thongs instead of wrestling boots, it'd be the full kit. Jones good, shows some damn respect. So great to have Matt Cardona here in Perth, Western Australia, and of course, part of World Series Wrestling. Got something to say. Like I said, polite chat with the Australian crowd. Let's find out how polite it's gonna be. Yeah, we don't have Burger King in Western Australia. It's Hungry Jacks for the King Matt Cardona. All hail the Dead Match King. See, I was excited to come to Perth. I was excited to come to Australia. But because of Sean Spears, I hate Australia! Sean Spears screwed me out of my World Series World Shut the fuck up. Sean Spears screwed me out of my WSW World title in Australia! Sean Spears injured my heater, Steph Delaner, in Australia, and that is why I fucking hate Australia. The fact that Sean Spears has my WSW world title, it makes me sick! The fact that his wife has Steph's WSW women's championship makes me want to puke! Sean Spears is a phony. Sean Spears is a fake, nice guy. He doesn't care about WSW. He doesn't care about you Mark fans. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Show me some fucking respect! Sean Spears does not care about Australia! And yeah, I saw what he did earlier. He gave Australia his own... What's that guy do? Riding Eagles, a world title shot, that was my opportunity! I deserve that match! But you know what, Sean, tonight? Hey, my boy, Zach Ryder is fucking dead. Tonight in this very ring, I'm gonna give another Australian wrestler the opportunity of a lifetime. But this 
guy, this Australian wrestler, he's way better than Rod Eagles. He's way better than Outback Jack himself. And he's definitely better than that bitch, Kathy Lee. Tonight, in this very ring, it's going to be a big fight feel. The Deathmatch King, Matt Cardona, versus this man. Who's stepping up to the challenge? Wait. We know that music mean team. It, it's Hayden Senate. Hayden Senate is going to wrestle Matt Cardona at World Series Wrestling. And in his final ring, Matt calls Cat, and he calls Hayden Senna. Well, this is truly shocking. Matt Cardona's mystery opponent. As he says, <laughs> I'm not sure I agree, but... Better than Robbie Eagles, maybe. Well, one thing he's correct about is it's an amazing opportunity. Matt Cardona is saying some deplorable things about Australia that I wouldn't dare repeat on this broadcast. But he's giving a great opportunity here to Hayden Zenith, of course. Like he said, not only did he lose his WSW World Heavyweight Championship, Steph Delander as well was injured on the first night. Of course, having to forfeit her women's championship as well. The look on Matt Cardona's face is so determined right now, it looks like he is ready to absolutely destroy Zenit. He might just do that. The Perth crowd, they know who Hayden Zenith is and they are firmly in his corner after uh, Cardona's Matt, Cardona, Matt Cardona didn't um, please himself to these fans. Alright, the bell is rung. This one's underway. Matt Cardona up against Hayden Zenith, of all people. Uh, if you are watching uh, around the globe or even over East. Oh, what? Surely not. The finger poke. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, Zenith! Okay, apparently things aren't going as planned, Wally. Yeah, Matt Cardona clearly had a plan, but uh, Hayden Zenith maybe has a plan of his own. He's going to seize the opportunity that lays in front of him. Cardona just not having a great full throttle tour with World Series Wrestling, losing his championship, losing his partner in crime. It doesn't look like it's going to get any better here tonight. That knee gets called Hungry Jacks. Which, as we tried to touch on before, uh, Burger King over here is called Hungry Jacks. Zenith, though, laying in the right hands to the Deathmatch King, the Indie God. Springboard! Whoa! Springboard swing DDT! We could to see him! Oh, oh, can you imagine? I thought we were going to see Hayden Zenith defeat Matt Cardona. Oh, huge flying forearm there. Hayden Zenith showing his quickness. Oh, Cardona gets the legs up though and levels. Daddy cool. And unfortunately, that might be it for Hayden Zenith. Short night, Matt Cardona's gonna lay You're the boots to in. Me, huh? what? A bit pissed off because Hayden Zenith. He didn't play ball. Didn't play ball, maybe did try to embarrass him. And Matt Cardona's clearly gonna take out his frustration on Hayden Zenith. Of course, Cardona, one of the uh, oh, massive names on the World Series Wrestling Full Throttle Tour. So many fans in attendance lined up to meet him for the meet and greet. Very excited to see him. Hayden Zenith, though, I think just got swept up. He's a, he, he wrestles locally here. A lot of the fans in attendance know who Hayden Zenith is. He just got swept up in the emotion of it all. Cardona Mania running wild, ripping the shirt and joking. Hayden Zenith, ref hasn't seen her until now, asking him to break. Taking all the way to that five count, almost getting himself disqualified. And the crowd just getting under the skin of the indie god by chanting 10 at him. A reference of course to the referee. Oh, and he's locked him up. Ooh. I was going to say, this crowd is just taunting him with the uh, Sean Spears. 
chant of 10. Cardona absolutely folding up Hayden Zenith with that huge clothesline. a little disparity on, comic kid. there for Hayden Zenith. Come on. But I tell you what, we, we mentioned how this tour is not going the way Cardona would have hoped. It has given him a hell of a bad mood, my friend. I mean, he, he has to win this match here tonight. If he, I mean, it's not going to happen. But if he loses this match to Hayden Zenith, I'm not sure what that means for the rest of the tour. He might just pack his bags and go home as he gives the one bird salute to the crowd. Greg Zenith, this will be it, surely. I don't think so! Oh! Cardona himself stopping the count from happening. Wanting to take out a little bit more of his frustration on Hayden Zenith. He has him where he wants him now. Pissed off with the tour, pissed off with Hayden Zenith not playing games. And he's going to beat the crap out of him here. In but the crowd, using that 10 count from the WSW World Champion. Sean Spears to try and... Oh! Oh! Ask and you shall receive! World Series Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion has arrived! And Matt Cardona can't believe his very eyes! Crowd loving it though, they're going absolutely crazy! WSW World Heavyweight Champion. Wait, wait, wait! Zenith. Hayden Zenith with the roll up. He's done it! Are you kidding me? Hayden Zenith has defeated Matt Cardona. Are you kidding me, Wally? What in the bloody hell did we just witness? Talk about unbelievable. Sean Spears with a little bit of two-step on the ramp as he has foiled Matt Cardona once again and Hayden Zenith <laughs> celebrating with Sean Spears, the winner defeating the Deathmatch King himself, Matt Cardona. I, I've known Hayden Zenith for years and called matches of his for years. This is one for the ages, my friend, and the horrid streak of bad luck for Matt Cardona. Boy, oh boy. The full throttle tour is continuing. I tell you what, I feel sorry for whoever's up near him in Brisbane, because this man is furious. I mean, where, did, where does he go from here, though? Uh, he, he may not even turn up in Brisbane. He might just, this might be it. He might say, screw Australia, pack his bags, bullshit. and go home. This is fucking bullshit! He is furious. And the fans telling him what they think, which this isn't going to make him feel any better. This is wow.
massive fan favourite here at the Vasto Club in Perth. They've risen to their feet. That's Frankie Gazarian. Comes to the ring. That's right, a lot of Kazarian fans are in attendance here tonight. And I tell you what, this match is going to be interesting. The experience difference is huge. Kazarian, of course, they viewed back in 1998. Uh, Fujita, only they viewed back in 2021. Of course, uh, Fujita was trained at the New Japan Dojo taken under his wing by Zack Sabre Jr. Of course, that leading him to be taken into the fold with TMDK. And since then, he's uh, been on excursion, as they call it, uh, in Japan. And he's been doing a lot of tours with Robbie Eagles, who's outside giving him a, a good, some good moral support, Wally. Yeah, Robbie Eagles out here earlier, unable to get the job done against Sean Spears. Let's see if his fellow TMDK member can beat the veteran of the professional wrestling industry, Frankie Kazarian. Now, of course, don't forget Mikey Broderick also representing Team DK didn't get the win either. Hey, Fujita can turn the tide for the team here tonight in Perth. I mean, a massive matchup here against someone, the uh, expertise and the respect that Frankie Kazarian has earned in the industry. Interesting to see how Fujita goes Putting his, uh, putting his skills on display. Yeah, that's right. Kazarian, of course, wrestled all around the world and then some. He's uh, been a tag champ in AEW in a Ring of Honor. Uh, he's been a tag champ in Impact six, oh, sorry, three times, in fact. He's been the X Division champ six times as well. This man has got a very impressive resume up against someone who's just beginning to start theirs. Kose locked up tight. Fujita moved Kazarian into a pin, but the veteran instincts kicked in quick. Only allowed a one count. He is not letting that hold budge one bit. Holding it on so tight. Vegeta trying to force him off, going off the ropes, but Frankie Gazarian has got it locked in tight. Vegeta not going anywhere. Of course, Tim DK is very near and dear to all the Perth faithful here tonight. They're oh. loving all the action they're seeing here this evening at WSW Full Throttle. Kazarian lands on his feet, Ooh, dishes out a vicious knife edge chop as well. Whipping Fujita off the ropes. Goes for a hip toss. Fujita with a hip toss of his own. Underneath. Rolls over. Only a one count there. Fujita kicking out one. Nice headlock takeover by Frankie Kazarian. Really wrenching on that neck of Fujita there. Lock the hand in. I mean, a true expert of the game, an absolute veteran, nearly 25 years in, in the industry, Frankie Gazarian. Doing it very well here this evening. Kosei just palm striking as hard as he can to get out of this one. Oh, gets hit hard. Leapfrog. Nice drop kick and follow it up as well. Hitting Frankie Kazarian square in the chest, knocking him off his feet. There go. Big scoop slam there. What a kick to follow it up by the Ichiban sweet boy. Going for a cover now. Frank Only one. Frankie Kazarian kicking out at one. Clearly it's going to take a lot more for both of these competitors to keep their opponent down here at WSW in Perth. Of course, uh, Kazarian was a part of the WSW World Heavyweight Championship match on night two of the tour. Whoa! Nice hits as a takedown there by Kosei Fujita. Is he going to fly? 
Not if Kazarian has anything to do with it, just wipes him out with a huge lariat. He flew, but not in the way he wanted to. Frankie Kazarian mashing the face of Fujita and soaking in the adoration of the fans here in Perth. And uh, Kazarian. God. Kazarian, of course, is part of that uh, four way matchup in night three in South Australia at Adelaide. Of course, Sean Spears was victorious that night too. Oh, nice. Innovative Russian leg sweep there. Managed to get two count, but still not the three count required. Grabs a handful of hair and oh, lighting up the chest. Here he goes again, slams down Fujita. Springboard and a leg drop to go along with it. Very smooth and tidy work there by Kazarian, but Fujita manages to kick out yet again. Frankie Kazarian having a few words with Robbie Eagles on the outside. Robbie Eagles showing earlier tonight. Not a lot of respect for the crowd, not a lot of respect for his opponent. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep himself out of the matchup here tonight. Let these two competitors go at it. Fujita trying to fight out of this hold. He's in a lot of pain. Doesn't want to leave this one locked in for too long. He's booting the face of Kazarian to get out of it. Kazarian's not budging though. Kazarian asking Fujita if he knows oh, who he is. If he doesn't, he just stamped it across his chest. You can see the perspiration fly off Fujita's chest as Frankie Kazarian has him up, trying to go for a suplex. Fujita able to block it. Now, Kosei Fujita currently on excursion, as they call it, uh, within Japanese wrestling, where they go out on tour and basically learn the trade, so to speak. That is oh, exactly what Kazarian's doing here, is teaching him. That beautiful bridging fisherman suplex there didn't quite get the three, though. Kazarian looks a little bit agitated about that fact. I mean, let's be honest. Frankie Kazarian, one of the most experienced wrestlers on the tour. Fujita, only been in the industry a couple of years, only graduated from New Japan's Young Lions program a few months ago. But really taking it to Frankie Kazarian. Two men trading massive forearms here. Oh, wow. Oh, Fujita returns fire. Oh, man. Oh, nice work there. Big spinny heel kick there. By Ichiban, sweet boy. Robbie Eagles pounding the mat, trying to get Fujita up, trying to get the crowd into it. Get him behind Fujita. Whilst Zack Sabre Jr. has taken Fujita under his wing, Robbie Eagles is taking him on tour and travelling around with him as well, teaching him all oh, many valuable things. Yeah, the two men have been uh, a formidable tag team of late in Japan and in Australia. Wow! What a palm strike right to the face of the heavy metal rebel. And the top rope hits as a takedown. Kosei Fujita. Signaling to the crowd that he's going to fly. And here we go. Up and over it to the outside. Once the crowd got their breath back, they started to chant. Both men down on the outside. Referee has to dish out the 10 count. Robbie Eagles making sure that uh, 
His friend and Team DK member is doing okay. I'm not doing anything. Come on. Yeah, it looked like Fujita may have clipped the guardrail as he was coming over. Yeah! And it's, as always, with those high-risk moves. Yeah! Luckily, both men to their feet. And the match will continue. Fujita springboard. Drop kick. Robbie Eagles pleading with him to go for the cover. One, two, only a two count there. Vegeta signaling for the end. He's winning this crowd over. They were very pro Kazarian in the early goings of this matchup. But I think they're just uh, admiring the work rate of this youngster. Oh. The man that Tim DK referred to as Fuj Dog. Putting on a hell of a fight here this evening. Oh, Kazarian with the smooth moves once again. Almost baited him into it. Nice springboard in with the DDT. Oh, Wally, I thought that was it. What is it going to take, Fujita? You can see why the crowd is getting behind him. The heart of a lion, no pun intended. Chanting, this is awesome. They're giving it up for the great work rate of these two fantastic wrestlers. This is world class and this is World Series Wrestling. Nice arm drag take down there by Fujita. Ooh. Gets cut off by Kazarian. Ooh, returns favor with a back elbow strike. Head full of steam, ducks a clothesline. Oh, both men had the same idea and they both go down. Double clothesline. And the crowd is loving it here at World Series Wrestling in Perth. Both men trying to get to their feet here up to a three count. We definitely do not want to see a count out victory or a double count out here. We want to see a definitive winner between these two competitors. Kazarian ducks the line. Back suplex there by Frankie Kazarian. But Vegeta to his feet immediately. Straight back up he goes. Goes behind. Oh, jumps him down with a high German suplex. The crowd is chanting Fujita! He's going behind That's again, he's gotta go again. for it. Thought he's gonna go for another another German. It's like a crossface chicken wing of sorts. Locked in tight by Kazarian. Is he tapping? He's tapped! He taps! What a matchup! What an incredible contest we just saw. Mean Dean, these two, the veteran and the rookie, put on an absolute clinic here. And the fans loved every single minute of it. That they did, my friend, of course. The crowd was so amped up to see Kazarian. But they even managed to chant for Fujita as well. Earning the respect of this audience here this evening. What a fantastic matchup that this sold out crowd just relished in. Yeah, Fujita a relative unknown for most of these Perth fans, I'm sure. But he has definitely made a name for himself and hopefully we get to see him back on our shores in the not too distant future. He's hoping in Frankie Kazarian, showing why he is as good as he is and as good as he always has been within the realm of pro wrestling. Amazing show of respect right there by the heavy metal rebel, Frankie Kazarian. A well-deserved show of respect as well. You love to see it. And if you love what you're seeing, don't forget the tour is not over yet. October 12th, we will be in Brisbane. And October 13th, we'll be in Sydney. The Sydney show sold out. A few tickets left in Brisbane if you'd like to go check it out. You can see both of those shows right here on Fight TV.
breaking this area. Very welcome guests here in Perth, Western Australia. Crowd loves it. We, we weren't sure that he was even going to be here, but he made an appearance earlier on in the Brian Cage matchup. Yeah, I mean, shocked us all, shocked Brian Cage. Brian Cage hadn't spoken to Flip for months, for months and months since they had lost the WSW Tag Team Championships. Flip Gordon here in Perth, Western Australia. The unreal one who we weren't expecting, but are absolutely pumped to have here all the same. Yeah, what a fantastic surprise for all of us here. Not only Flip Gordon here, but ready to compete here tonight against, well, I don't know his opponent. I'm not sure if Flip knows who his opponent is, how he's prepared for it, but uh, fantastic to see him in Perth, Western Australia. Yeah, he said he had a matchup, but boy, oh boy, this looks ominous. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Redfield, the opponent for right. Flip Gordon. I don't, I don't know if this is what Flip signed up for. <laughs> to turn around and get straight back on that plane to America because boy oh boy has he got a challenge on his hand right now the massive monster Eric Redbeard of course uh, Eric Redbeard a former WSW tag team champion with Matt Basso. Uh, they unfortunately lost those tag team titles on night two of this full throttle tour. So you just know that Eric Redbeard is not gonna be in a great mood here this evening. And he can take his frustrations out, unfortunately for Flip Gordon. I mean, super excited, Mean Dean. We had no idea that Flip was gonna be here. We knew that Eric Redbeard was on the tour, but he, we didn't know if he was gonna be on the show here tonight. This will be an interesting matchup, a, a huge clash of styles. The bell is rung, we are underway here, and like you said, what a interesting mis mismatch. Look at the size difference between these two. You gotta be kidding me, Wally. I mean, let not, let's not forget, Brian Cage is on the outside, but I'm not sure how much, I mean, he's, Flip Gordon's gonna need all the help I think he the can crowd get. needs to make some more noise. To, to back him up, so he's gonna need it. Uh, the Unreal Flip Gordon, he's a hell of a competitor, and uh, I've been a big fan of his, but, oh wow, look out. Springs back up onto his feet. I mean, Redbeard pushed him away with ease, but Flip Gordon showing his athleticism, springing back to his feet. Well, it's that speed and agility that he's gonna need to put into use. We are in there with an absolute monster like Eric Redbeard. This guy is humongous. Flip Gordon not backing down from, well, okay. Maybe he's gonna back down from, ducks out of the, what is just, going on? He's just confusing him now. It's confusing Look everyone. Him, he gives up. I don't remember seeing that in any uh, professional wrestling training book, training manual. Do you know what that's called, Mean Dean? Uh, no, I don't, but I'll tell you what it is. It's a beautiful distraction. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to disorient, disorientate your opponent. That's one way to stop it. Yeah. 
Gordon lands on his feet. Gets out the way. That's what he needs to do. Nice drop kick as well. Oh, oh, man. Huge shoulder charge there by Eric Redbeard. Absolutely smashing Flip Gordon. You can only liken it to what it'd be like in a by a train. Just a battering ram. Flip Gordon going headfirst into the turnbuckle. Eric Redbeard having no more of Flip Gordon's shenanigans. And he's absolutely taking him to task here. Vicious headbutt there. That's the thing, Redbeard's got him rocked right now, which is a terrible thing for Flip Gordon. His speed and agility works so well, but if he's rocked and he can't move that quick, and Redbeard can keep his hands on him, what on earth can you do? What can anyone do when that giant gets his hands around your throat? Massive chop there by Redbeard, forcing Flip Gordon off his feet, taking a, taking himself outside to try and get himself some fresh air, get some coaching by Brian Cage. Rolls back in, but straight into the punishment of Eric Redbeard. Of course, Flip Gordon was part of the Flippin' Machines with Brian Cage, former WSW Tag Team Champions. Held those tag titles for over, a, for over 1,300 days. Imagine being body slammed from that height with that much force. I, I wouldn't want to. Eric Redbeard. The thought of it hurts. I can't yeah. imagine what the act of it's like. Redbeard bringing Flip Gordon back in. With the stalling suplex, Flip Gordon able to work his way out of it, oh, no. but setting him up. Oh no. Oh, out he goes. But he landed on the outside ring apron. Nice shot of block to the midsection, goes over the top, Flip Gordon. Here we go, and there he goes. Flip by name, Flip by nature, flipping himself in, but cut off at the pass by that huge back elbow by Eric Redbeard. Massive, massive elbow there by <laughs> elbow Eric. Elbow drop. <laughs> Eric Redbeard. Oh. With all his massive amount of weight and six foot eight frame is just so dominant. I mean, you can hear the noise of those chops all the way back here from our commentary desk. Flip Gordon was dishing out to Redbeard, but it barely moved him at all. And one single chop, Flip Gordon knocked down to the mat. He chopped, oh, his, Jesus. he chopped his chest so hard his spine would be bruised right now. <laughs> Talking about spine bruise, whipped into that corner. You could hear the, oh, you hear the metal clank, followed up with a big clothesline in the corner. Crowd cheering on the brutality we are witnessing before us here. Ah, Eric Redbeard ah, now with his size ah, got on you, his what boot on the face of Flip Gordon. Those are some humongous boots he wears. Flip Gordon coming all the way to Australia to support his friend Brian Cage, surprising us all here. But maybe not the smartest move. Getting absolutely punished here by Eric Redbeard. Hey, look, it's great to see him here supporting Brian Cage and vice versa, and good to see the, the uh, flipping machines on the same page again, but... Huge a bear hug here. A bear, like, a bear hug unlike any I've seen before. It's just throwing him around like a rag doll, just toying with him. Referee saying no quit. Flip Gordon, ever the competitor. Not going to give up, it's going to take... Well, maybe not a lot more, but it's going to take a bit more than that to get the win here for Eric Redbeard. The tenacity of Flip Gordon needs to be commended. He has fought a hell of a great matchup here this evening. Just back elbow striking the side of the head of Eric Redbeard to try and get out of this. He's going to try and over. Going to try and sunset flip him. A little easier said than done, I think. Uh oh. Manhandling him into that corner. Follows up with a charge, shoulder charge. Oh. Shoulder first into the ring post. That's right, in the ring they're wrestling in. They are square shaped ring posts as well. Extra damage if you collide with them. I mean, all sorts of damage can be done by shoulder charge into the ring post. You can have a separated shoulder. Broken collarbone flipping 
kick there by Flip Gordon rolling Eric Redbeard up. This might be his only chance. No, unable to get it done. Would be a huge victory for Flip Gordon. If he... Whoa! Oh! Eric Redbeard with a spinning kick of his own. Oh. I thought that was it. How was Flip that Gordon able to kick out at the very last moment there. Eric Redbeard himself thought it was three. Flip Gordon still in this one. He's taken a brutal beating as Redbeard's got him up pump handle and oh. Into a backbreaker. And he's got the claw locked in. Oh, huge clothesline there. Man. I thought he was going for his iron claw slam. Flip kicked out. Eric Redbeard can't believe it, but Flip kicked out. All the credit in the world to him. Unreal by name, unreal by nature. Flip Gordon. Redbeard now has Flip Gordon. <laughs> Fantastic tribute there by Redbeard. To his friend, Brody Lee. Oh, oh, Jesus. What a super kick. Flip Gordon kicking Redbeard out of his boots. Followed it up with a nice kick to the face. Double kick to the face. Followed a third kick in a row. What is it going to take to put Redbeard down? Springboard. Drop kick. Redbeard knocked to the outside. What are we going to see here from Flip Gordon? Motivating the crowd to motivate him. Redbeard back in. Oh, shit. Whoa, Flip. Brian Cage catching his friend, helping him get back into the ring. Big boot by Redbeard. Knocking. Flip Gordon off the apron. Both men on the outside now. Flip Gordon back in the ring, followed by Redbeard. Crowd feeling it now. Redbeard off the ropes. Oh. Just runs through him. Signaling for that iron claw slam. Locks it in. Gets him up. And down he goes. Man. That is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Incredible showing by Flip Gordon. Amazing to have him competing here in World Series Wrestling. A fantastic surprise. But unfortunately, no match for the behemoth. That is Eric Redbeard getting the win here tonight. Unfortunately, Brian Cage not able to help his friend. Both men in the losing column here and both Brian Cage not looking too happy about it. But Eric Redbeard for the win. He needed that one after unfortunately losing the Tag Team Championships earlier on in this tour. Uh, interesting to note that Matt Basso did not join him out here. Eric Redbeard did this all on his own. And he did it with an amazing force as only he can. Flip Gordon pulled out all the tricks. Brian Cage now. That's just me. I mean, not all that, you kind of got your ass kicked, Flip. You're out here. He was your ass all over the damn ring, man. What happened? Look, look, look. Maybe you accidentally cost me the match. You didn't win your match. We had a bad day at the office again. But hey, you're still here. You're not walking out of me. You said you wanted to do this. You wanted the fucking machines to be back again. Well, there's just a couple, uh, a couple of guys out there with, like, with our type of titles that we've beaten more than once. And we can beat them again. So how about this? My knee's a little bummed up, but come Thursday in Brisbane, why don't you and I team up once again, the Flip the Machines, back at it, challenge the ABC, and get a shot at the Captain Bowl in Sydney.
Hell yeah. The flipping machines are ready to get the band back together again. October 12th, they will be in Brisbane and they are ready to challenge the tag team champions, whoever they may be. This is exciting, my friends. Of course, the most dominant World Series wrestling tag team champions we've ever seen before. Yeah, I mean, they've laid out the challenge to the ABC for the number one contendership, but if ABC are able to win the championship here tonight, does that fast track them? The Flipping Machines. Could we see Flipping Machines this versus is the ABC? World Series Wrestling Full Throttle Main Event at Olive Hall. This is the World Series Wrestling Tag Team Championship. It's main event time, my good people, and this one is going to be massive. The World Series Wrestling Tag Team Championship will be on the line. A triple threat tag team matchup. This has got me absolutely pumped, and I hope you're ready for what is going to be an amazing matchup. Earth's very own Untouchables. A tag team who represents Team MDK and one of the best tag teams in all of Australian wrestling. The fans here in attendance at the Fasto Club know this team so very well. They are going to be cheering them on all the way you would imagine to see if they can walk away with those prestigious WSW tag team titles. Yeah, an extremely exciting matchup here. The Untouchables with a huge opportunity here tonight to put their skills on, uh, on the line, put them up to the test against some of the best in the world and possibly walk away as the WSW Tag Team Champions. Marcus Pitt and Damian Slater. These two competitors have an amazing track record as singles competitors. As a tag team, they are even more dominant. Biggest and best factions in all of professional wrestling around the world. Ace Austin and Chris Bay. Ace and Bay Club ABC. These guys have come a long way to be here and be a part of this tour. World Series Wrestling. You know they want oh so bad to be the World Series Wrestling Tag Team Champions. They've got themselves a chance here this evening, Wally. Yeah, I mean, these two guys have quickly become one of the most talked about tag teams in the entire industry. And they may be able to add another accolade to their ever-growing resume if they can defeat the champions here tonight and become the new World Series Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I'm super excited for this, Mean Dean. I am absolutely pumped up. We've got three incredibly exciting tag teams ready to lay it all out on the line in the name of the WSW Tag Team Championships. Super athletic, super strong competitors. This one is going to be wild, my friend. And I tell you what, the newly crowned WSW Tag Team Champions, they're not going to be messing about.
WSW Tag Team Champion. I mean, you talk about rising stars in the tag team division in Australian wrestling. Hell, in the world. And you have to include the name of the Perea. These two boys have been on a tear since forming nearly five years ago, quickly becoming one of the most talked about tag teams, two of the most talked about wrestlers in the Australian wrestling scene. And they are your current World Series Wrestling Tag Team Champions. They have taken the country by storm. I've never had the pleasure of seeing them in person, Mean Dean, and I am oh so excited to see them here tonight. And three, I mean, let's not understate it, three of the greatest tag teams in the world right now in the main event here at World Series Wrestling in Perth. This is some big fight feel. Introducing first to this match, the World Series Wrestling Tag Team Championship, representing Team MTK Marcus Kiss and the World Cruiser, Damian Slater, they are the Untouchables! And now, representing Border Club, the inevitable Ace Austin, the ultimate Vanessa, Chris Bay, champions hailing from Mount Olympus and weighing in at a thousand pounds of polished marble they are the kings of Mykonos Eli Theseus might be booing them but they are absolutely magnificent and they are the reigning and defending WSW Tag Team Champions. This is your World Series Wrestling Full Throttle Night Number 4 Main Event. A night that has seen all championships on the line but this is the main event and it is going to be huge. We've got three of the best tag teams in all of professional wrestling and the ones that currently hold the championship as I said, they've taken this country by storm. They are former RCW Tag Team Champions from South Australia. They're the current MCW Tag Team Champions over in Melbourne. They're the current NHPW Tag Team Champions here in Western Australia. And now, World Series Wrestling. Australia has been taken, now it's their time to take the world. And they are doing so by being your WSW Tag Team Champions. All right, we are underway. Triple threat tag team action here. Who knows what we're going to see, but Gabriel Eros is starting things off with Chris Bay. Not in my luck He's talking a bit of trash in his native tongue. I'm not going to lie. That shit kind of fun. What did you say, though? I can't understand. Not in my lockup. What is it? What is it? No, no, not in my lockup. What is that? Bay figuring out the linguistics behind this. You grunt. Not in my lockup. Bay heard just about enough. Quite a bit gronk as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they, they need translation for uh, the Perea here. We know what malaka mean. Nice side headlock here. The level of talent involved in this matchup is damn near unmeasurable. Of course, ABC have been on an absolute tear around the world. In New Japan for wrestling in Impact as well in the United States. Bay now off the ropes. 
mixing it up. Oh, how good is that? How smooth is that? Smooth as finesse. The finesse club, Chris Bay. Holding up the two sweet, tagging in. Taking an ace, Austin now, and Austin and Bay both with kicks. To the spine of Gabriel Harris, who goes to the outside. Eli Theseus having a few choice words for the referee there and his opponents. The Pereira taking their time on the outside. Champions advantage as always. They, you know, don't have to, uh, they can take the count out. It's not the, uh, the right way to do it. But it can be done. That is the champions advantage. It's up to the other two teams to claim the victory. After some choice words, makes the tag to his partner in crime. Eli Theseus. Untouchable's not able to get into this matchup just yet. You know what, not a bad move. It's a three-way matchup. There's two other teams. Let them hammer the crap out of each other and then scoop in whilst you're fresh to try and get the win. Eros jumping in, taking out ABC. Ace Austin floating over. Damien Slater oh, tags go. himself in, ducks under the clothesline. A few strikes of his own. Oh, how's the moves by Damien Slater? You've never seen the Untouchables in action. I can inform you, you are in for quite the treat. We see them wrestle in Perth quite often. We are lucky to do so. Damien Slater, of course, he's wrestled all around the world as well with 0-1 in Japan, and of course, was part of the Cruiserweight Classic in WWE some years ago. Also runs a wrestling clinic online on YouTube. World beater wrestling. And, oh. They also had themselves a battle in MCW over in Melbourne not too long ago against the Perea. Eli now. Battling back against Slater. These guys trading shots. Oh, a low kick by Slater. Slater off the ropes. But Eros on the outside, driving the knee into the back of Damien Slater. And Theseus now has the upper hand. Beautiful suplex and the nip up to his feet. The athleticism of all competitors in this matchup is absolutely tremendous. It's the Perea show, baby. Let's go. I mean, this is a this is a tag team title match, and the Perea are so confident they're able to do a bit of toe tapping. Marcus Spit, maybe uh -oh. showing the dance of his own. A huge German suplex by Marcus Pitt. Is it easy? Oh, he is. That is not something I've seen from Marcus Pitt before. ABC getting in on the action on the outside. <laughs> the only ones dance, not dancing are the Perea themselves. Marcus Pitt's got the Theseus up in the fireman's carry. Thought he was going to go for that F5 that has won in many matchups throughout his career. Ace Austin tagging himself in. Marcus Pitt, Pitt forced to the outside. Austin staying low and doing a good job of it. Rolls up Theseus, who managed to kick out of that one. But Austin going straight back to work now, locking up that wrist and locking it up tight. Clubbing blow by Theseus there. Now whipping Ace Austin into the corner. Ace Austin floats over. Eros tagged himself in and a nice flying clothesline and the Perea. Absolutely kicking the stuffing out of Ace Austin. Cutting the ring off. Chris Bay desperate to get in. Ace Austin so close to getting the tag. Eros has it scouted. Bay with some choice words in English this time. <laughs> the fans didn't need too much encouragement to join in on that chant. But it's not doing Ace Austin any favours. 
that Perea have absolutely got him where they want him. Working him down, not letting him tag out. Nice strikes there to the midsection of Theseus. From Theseus and Eros just getting a nice little boot in before he goes out to the outside. Yeah, the defending tag team champions are doing a good one of uh, making sure they stay in control of this matchup. Quick and frequent tags. Tag bait now. Yeah, Eros, Eros back in. Back in. Giving Chris Bay a little bit more stick as he charges in with a back elbow strike. Oh, Theseus with his shoulder block. I mean, the Perea are a polished tag team. Tag team wrestling is basically all they know, and you can clearly see it on show. Nice DDT there by Eros. Goes for the cover. Damian Slater able to get in and cut it off. That is the problem. I mean, tag team wrestling can be tricky at the best of times, but when it's a three-way, trying to get that cover is uh, extremely difficult. Yeah, it makes it that much harder. Normally you can do the whole try and cut the ring off in half or what, any, any different tactics like it. They kind of go out of the window when you've got a third tag team in there. It's not as easy as said than done. Yeah, I mean, the, the easiest play is to try and, you know, eliminate a tag team, get them out of the, the uh, match. But obviously that's easier said than done. Process of elimination. Nice back elbow there by Ace Austin. Still trying to get that tag to Chris Bay. Can't quite fingertips away. Perea holding him at bay. Even trying to tag in the untouchables just to get himself out of the matchup to stop the punishment. He knows he cannot take this much longer. Ace Austin. Perea with the fast tags in and out, always keeping the freshmen in the ring. Ace Austin able to get out of the way, forcing Theseus into Eros, and this must be the time where he tags out, hopefully getting his tag team partner Chris Bay into the matchup, and he'll be able to catch his breath on the outside. So close, but oh, look out. Perea able to cut the ring off. Huge back body drop there by Austin. Oh, no, Theseus. Just not Chris Bay off the side ring apron so that a tag couldn't take place. Oh my oh. goodness, huge spinning back kick by Ace Austin. Knocking Theseus to the ground, trying to get the tag, but Chris Bay not there for the tag. Ace Austin will have to tag one of the untouchables in if he has to get out of the ring. And he does so, Marcus Pitt into the ring. Huge clothesline. Hit with the back elbow strike now, charging straight back in. Big German suplex, dumping him down hard. Damien Slater getting in the ring himself, not tagged in. Marcus Pitt still the legal man. But the, <laughs> we've seen this before. The backpacker! The backpacker! Referee has lost all control of this matchup. Just Death Valley driving him onto the knees of Mark Smith. Do we have new tag champs? No. Theseus stops that from happening. Damien Slater forcing Theseus to the outside, follow him out himself, leaving Marcus Pitt and Eros in the ring. ABC on the outside, trying to get themselves back to the ring apron. Huge fist, huge punch to the face of Eros. Off the ropes, holding on. Marcus Pitt follows him in, back elbow. Charges straight back in, gets booted in the face this time. Chris Bay with a blind tag. Marcus Pitt doesn't know. Chris Bay's the legal man. No cover. It's unfortunate because that snap power slam of Marcus Pitt did some serious damage. Chris Bay's the legal competitor though, representing ABC. Marcus Pitt able to duck out of the way. Discus Lariat attempt by Chris Bay back elbow. Oh! Huge Inzaguri-like kick to the face of Marcus Pitt. Nip up to his feet. Desperate to get Ace Austin back into this match and get the fans into it. Lining Marcus Pitt up. Chopping, chopping him down. Tag team specialists on display here by the ABC. That right there is just a bit of a display as to why the ABCs are in demand all around the globe. Chris Bay trying to go to the top rope. But Eros able to cut him off. Ace Austin. Huge dive by Ace Austin to the outside. 
You've to his be feet. kidding me. A few high fives for the fans in the front row. Unbelievable yeah. display of athleticism by Ace Austin, but cut off by Marcus Pitt. Oh, massive F5 show of strength there. Not going for the cover, tagging it. Oh, no. Thought that was Damien Slater climbing the ropes. But Theseus taking a few chops from Marcus Pitt, setting him up for the superplex. Certainly going to try. He's just holding on to that top rope. Smart work there by the defending champion. Battling his way out. Oh, big shot. Pitt goes down. Oh, Damien Slater. Holding on to the leg of Theseus. Taking a few shots of his own. Theseus climbing to the top rope. Oh, but Pitt. Here goes Pitt. Overhead, belly to belly, off the ropes. Oh. And a huge splash from the top. Ace rope. Austin, the legal man, has to get the cover. One, two, oh! oh. Slater interrupts the count. Undoubtedly, would have been your new WSW Tag Team Champions if Damien Slater had not come in to cut him off. Crowd chanting, "This is awesome!" and We'd be inclined to agree with the amazing action we've seen in this one so far. The World Series Wrestling Tag Team Championships hang in the balance. Nearly all men in the ring struggling to their feet. Chris Bay goes out. Damian Slater goes out. And once again, the Parea Gabriel, are in charge of this matchup. Gabriel Eros clearing house. And as you said, the Perea have the upper hand now. Ooh. Ace Austin floats over, forcing them, the Perea into each other. Roll up, could we see it? No, able to kick out. Big boot by Theseus there, setting him up. Oh, here it comes. Oh, Kalinikta! Oh, I'm surprised that didn't make the three. Unbelievable. Ace Austin kicking out at the very last moment. It's one of the many devastating tag team maneuvers that the Pareja have. The Kalinikta could not get the job done as the crowd's letting them know firsthand right now. Hey, wait, hey, it's kidding. Jobs, huh? Can we get the job You're done? Talking about jobs? Huh? Get up. The Perea, a few choice words for the fans, but really, they need to stay on Ace Austin here. Yes, they didn't get the job done, but they do have the upper hand. Wait, 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 and speaking of hands, that hand is wrapped up in a chain, the hand of Gabriel Eros. Oh! oh no, he inadvertently clocked Theseus. Ace Austin able to duck out of the way. Thank God for the ABC, because that would have been all she wrote. Oh, Eros goes for a sweep. <laughs> nice knee there from Ace Austin. Damian Slater tagging himself in, forcing the Perea out of the ring. Theseus is out. Damian Slater. Slatality. Going for his slatality finishing maneuver. Ace Austin floats over. Nice strike to the face. Nice chop there by Ace Austin. Slater off the rope. Marcus Pitt catches him. What a German suplex. And here he comes now, Slater, with a slatality. That's it, we're gonna see new champions. Oh, oh no. Chris Bay just powered through to interrupt the count. We nearly saw the Untouchables. What a huge win. victory that would Can have been imagine? for the Untouchables here. The roof of the Vasto Club here in Perth, Western Australia would have blown clean off. The Untouchables would have got the win. Chris Bay just forcing Marcus Pitt like a rugby tackle, for, forcing Marcus Pitt into that cover to break the count. But the Untouchables have set Ace Austin up. No, Ooh. Ace Austin able to push Marcus Pitt into Damien Slater as he goes out. Float over by Marcus Pitt. Austin charging in now. Pitt throws into the outside ring apron. Cops a forearm shot for his troubles. Ducks out of that one though, nicely done. Oh, kick to the side of the draw, Theseus. Again? Oh, how's the moves? Oh. Unbelievable. Yeah, love to see it. Austin now. 
Nice float over, tag into Chris Bay. This is ABC's chance. They have to get the victory, get the pin against Marcus Pitt and claim. Whoa! Elevated cutter. Oh, Austin. Oh, wait, the Perea. Oh, you're kidding me! The Perea have stolen it! Absolutely! And they just swept in at the last minute and retained their WSW Tag Team Championship. Like, like thieves in the night, the Pereira have swooped in. Chris Bay had it done. The ABC were going to claim the WSW Tag Team Championships, but the Pereira able to tag themselves in and claim the victory. They've got to hand it to them. They did it masterfully, and that is why they've retained their Tag Team Championships. My friends, thank you so much for joining us here. World Series Wrestling Full Throttle Night Number 4. Brisbane, you're next on October the 12th. Some tickets still available, and Sydney is sold out. But join us here on Fight TV for more World Series Wrestling. Thank you so much.